be setting up my Mopo 100 watt fiber laser from Eon Laser USA. I have a pocket knife and a hex wrench and this is all unpacked. What I also purchased was this kitchen cart from Lowe's that will fit my fiber laser perfectly and also allow me to move it around, which is phenomenal. I will be referring to everything as it is in the manual just so it's easier to set up. But this right here is known as the column. I already have that out and on the cart. Um, it is connected to this light source, so it is easier to put the column in and then the light source and just kind of let it hang out while you're setting up everything else. The workspace is the larger piece that you're putting on the bottom and then you're gonna mount this column onto the workspace. You wanna make sure that this platform right here is facing inwards towards the other corner of the workspace. And I'll show you that in a second. So here's my workspace going this way. This right here is the opposite side of where the platform is. And I'm gonna line it up with where the screws are going to go. And then on this side is the platform. So I just need four screws that are included and my hex wrench. Make sure it's lined up and screw those suckers in. If the platform is in the way when you are trying to get the screws in, because they are directly underneath the platform, there's a little kickstand on this baby up here. You can simply spin it and the platform will move up and down. Okay, so from the back side, this is the workspace, the work area on the table that I put down. This is the vertical column. The platform is going inward to the workspace. If you need to move it, here is the little wheel where you can move it up and down so that you can properly screw in these four screws right here, just using a hex wrench. It was very easy to do. It's all tightened up and I'm ready to go to the next step. The next step, I won't need this hex wrench, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Next is putting on this bad baby here with four of these black uh, like fasteners. I forget what the word is that they used, but I am going to lift this up very carefully. Bring it back here. It says to make sure that the galvo head is as close and as far back to the vertical column as possible before attaching these black screws. Here's what it looks like from underneath. Just take the screws. Oh, that one's a little finicky. And make sure that's tightened. This is the fastener that they sent with in order to tighten it. And the last one right here. like so. Really for the machine itself, that is all it takes. It is something that is so overly simple that you double check the manual just to make sure that you did it right. The next steps we're plugging in all of the power sources. So check this out. I refer to this as the cabinet in the uh, manual. And at first I was supposed to plug in the USB to my Mac. Now, I do not have a uh, USB port on there, but I was able to purchase an adapter for 10 bucks. The next step was plugging in this power input and then the power cable. Just to reiterate, it did say you cannot have anything else on that same fuse. So I actually unplugged my workbench and I'll have to get an extension cord to plug that in elsewhere. And mine came with a pedal. So I have a pedal plugged in and I threw it in the bottom of the cart. And so that's ready to go. Everything is good. Start the device. It is nice and quiet. Turn the focus wheel to adjust the two red dots. When the two red dots have met in a singular point, you have achieved focus. It tells you to look for the two red dots once you turn the fiber laser on. And you're supposed to use the wheel up top in order to move and bring it up or down until it achieves focus, which means that the two red points become one. Next, a control computer should not be placed more than 15 feet away from the fiber laser marking device to avoid interference. All right, 
And that was it. It was so easy to set up. I did it in probably 15, 20 minutes. Just a final viewpoint on how everything is set up. I got this cart from Lowe's and it is movable, which I have loved. Um, here is the top part. I do have the light and the ventilation, the um, additional fan added on, which I can show you how to set up separately. Everything is nice and tight. Everything is attached securely. My column is down below with everything plugged in. And this is what my workspace looks like. So there you have it. This machine was very, very easy and quick to set up. I was over the moon that it was that simple. However, I do want to reiterate at the time of making this video, you are seeing me as I go and I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to fiber lasers. It's really easy just to categorize laser machines as one big umbrella term, but they are really so different with very different uses and it's going to be a learning curve to try to figure this out. I am going to start as a beginner because this machine is so different. I'm going to run some test guards through that Eon Laser USA had sent along with the machine. I'm also going to just order some extra sheets of metal through Amazon until I can find a good source for the metals that I want to use. Uh, after the test cards, I'll just start small and work my way up from there. I'll share what I'm doing with you guys and maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. Maybe someone can help me, but that's the glory of putting things out there. So stay tuned. And if you think that this tutorial has been helpful for you, make sure that you follow along for more tip talks and head on over to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that I get to work with you guys every day.